Hey guys, tonight I'm just going to release a short video showing how to connect the F1 fire panel to the initiating devices and also to a speaker. So, when you first get the panel, normally the resistors will be pre-installed. So you can see there's the zone circuit there and the speaker circuit is in here. So we'll start with the zone circuit. First of all, we can silence it so it doesn't beep on us when we start removing things. And we can remove the resistor. And this will go at the end of the last device. Okay, so now I've got the cable in for the initiating devices. We always use red cable for initiating devices and gray cable for sounders. So you can see the red core is into positive, the black core is into M. And the cable just pokes out the side here. Let me just keep that open or it's going to beep the whole time. So obviously the panel's gone into defect because there's no end of line resistor. So now we can connect this to a smoke detector. The negative uh, input goes into this terminal here which is labelled terminal 2. Uh, and when you put the next device in, the negative out goes into this terminal here. So what this does is if you remove a smoke detector for maintenance, you can use this clip here and it will bypass this detector uh, and put the zone into a normal state. So that's quite handy. And it, the red just piggybacks off the other end of this cable. Okay, so the second wire has been added. So you can see the negative from the fire panel goes into this terminal here. The output negative goes into this terminal here. So if you were to remove the smoke detector and you don't want the system to go into defect, you can now push this tab here and it bypasses the space. Under normal conditions, when this detector is removed, this terminal here opens and puts the system into defect. And the red positive cable is just piggybacked off terminal number four. Okay, so now we need to hook the call point in. So we'll get that ready and I'll show that to you. On the back of the call point here, we have it labeled red, black, red, black. Since this is gonna be our end of line device, you can see we've got the end of line resistor just sitting in there. And we will now wire these two wires into the red and black terminals. The wires are now in the terminals, so you can see again at the bottom, if you can see, you can see red, black, red, black. We've got red into there, black into there. <clears throat> if this wasn't your end of line, you would just put another red cable there, another black cable there, and onto your next device. Okay, so that's all connected. If we now put the smoke detector into its holder, we should see that the system will go into a normal condition. All right, in a second here, now that the smoke detector is plugged in, you can see that the system goes back to normal. And if we now trigger this call point, we should get a fire condition. We do. So the system is actually silenced at the moment, so you won't hear anything. And we still have to install our speaker. So let's go ahead and take this terminal. We'll just reset it. And it should be resetting now. <clears throat> And now we can work on our speaker circuit. So we need to take this terminal block out. Our positive is the far left and the middle one is the negative. You can see that printed on the circuit board there. So again, outer edge, positive, inner edge, negative. And you can just line it up with the PCB there. Okay, so I've now put the cable into the terminal. So you can see positive is on the far right and negative is in the middle. If we look at the PCB, that lines up with that. So we'll plug this in now. Okay, and that's all looking good. And now we can connect our speaker. The speaker is just as simple. This is gonna be our end of line speaker. So we need to put the resistor in. If you were doing multiple speakers, you would just continue to piggyback the red and the black until you reach the end of the, uh, end of line, and then that's where your resistor would go. So we'll put the resistor in here, and now we can add a positive and negative. Positive goes to positive, negative goes to negative, and you've got the end of line resistor in here. So now we're ready to test the system. Just make sure it's off silence. It is. And as soon as we trigger this call point, we should hear the fire alarm. Very good. Now we can reset that. 
and once it's finished resetting we'll test the smoke detector make sure the smoke detector works and we'll be good to go let's now give the smoke detector a test to make sure it's working we can see it did one pulse there so these conventional smoke detectors have alarm verification so they have to go off twice before it will set the panel into an alarm state So that is a basic video on how to wire a conventional fire panel. There's really not much to it. Uh, only a couple of things I didn't mention in this video is the AC connection. So you've got an earth, um, an earth prong there to put the earth onto and you just wire in the 240 to the switch. And also you can change the volume of the sounder. Oh, I need to take silence off. You can change the volume of the sounder by changing this jumper here. So you can see by default it's on 1.1 watt. You can also select two lower wattages. You can select 0.7 watt or 0.2 watt. Okay, I hope you found this short video useful and I'll see you for the next one.